Hey guys, what's going on? It's Will Patterson here again, and today I'm actually giving you a new video, and I'm gonna be showing you how to use the pen tool. The actual tool itself is so difficult to use when you're first starting off, so I'm gonna show you how to use them. Now, when you're using the pen tool, uh, a lot of people would generally go ahead and they would just map out their points like this and they would just click anywhere and make handles anywhere. But this is the wrong way around it. And I'm going to be showing you today how to actually trace over your lettering, logo design or whatever. So the secret fundamental part of the pen tool is to understand the key to making really good lines. And this is found in every shape. I've got a little circle on top here and I'm just gonna show you the anchor points of it. As you can see, the anchor points of this circle are at the top, the sides and the bottom. So you can see that it's a north, east, south and west. This is what we've got to do with every shape that we create with the pen tool. This will allow us to get the perfect curve like you see here. Making sure that each handle of the anchor points are horizontal or vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go and start off with my pen tool, make sure I've got no fill, but I've got a black stroke of 0.25, which makes it very small. I've got my layer underneath here, and I've changed the transparency of this image of the drawing that I did on the iPad to 30%, and I've put it on the layer underneath. And I'm on top here with this layer. The things to remember with the pen tool is to make sure that we're constraining our angles to vertical or horizontal, so vertical or horizontal, nothing on the side. So you do this by holding shift. This will make sure that you're actually make constraining the angle or the, the way that the actual handles are moving. Also, another thing to keep in mind is to make sure that we are actually drawing or putting the pen tools or our anchor points at the extremes of each line. So I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a guy down here like so, and I'm going to rest it on top of the B. Now the point of which it's rested on top of the B is where we want our anchor point to be. This point here is our extreme point. So that's the extrema, and this is where all our anchor points are going to be placed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this point on here and I'm gonna constrain the angle to horizontal along this line. And then I'm going to do the exact same for down here. So I'm gonna find the extreme part of it, which is just here, and then I'm going to put my vertical line down like so. And this is what's gonna create this really nice line just here. And we're going to actually do the same down here, like so. So I'm gonna bring out another horizontal guide. Now you see, if I put my handle here, or actually put my anchor point here, we run into a bit of a problem. The problem is that this handle is above where it should be, so it's actually intersecting. What we need to make sure we're doing is that these handles are not intersecting, but they've got a clear path where they can miss out on. So this one shouldn't be over here, beyond this one, and this one should not be beyond over here. So this is how we get the perfect curves, and we can carry this on all the way around making sure that we get to the extremes of the curve. So we just do this, move it to the right. You might need to move one anchor point slightly more or one handle over a, a tiny bit more. And then we just bring this one out as well. And then on here, we've got an extreme point just here. Which you can bring out like so. From here, I click there. We've got another extreme point, but we can zoom right in. Remember, it's good to zoom into your work. We just bring this here and this is the exact extreme point. And we've got another one here. So wherever you've got a, a horizontal or a vertical one, the next one is gonna be opposite. So I've just done a horizontal line there or horizontal handles there. So I'm gonna bring up to the vertical handles here. Well, that's gonna give us the curve. And the great thing about this, it means less editing later on. So I'm gonna bring up another thing here and rest it onto this line. Then I'm gonna put this, ooh, I did that a bit wrong there. Put it right here. And I'm gonna bring this out. Now the problem that we have here is that this part needs to be more angled or the, the, the actual line needs to be more curved. So we do this by just extending this handle up with a direct selection tool like so. And we just select that one up, making sure they're not crossing each other or intersecting the lines. We can get rid of the guides every now and then, get rid of the template layer and have a little look. Now what we see here 
is a bit of a problem. We can move this over here a tiny little bit, making sure we've got a nice little curves going on here. And this makes it so much easier to edit your guides. I can even move these about a little bit to give us the perfect curves that we need. But this can all be done later on. A lot of people just put the points down and then they just go for it later on. So the next bit we need to do is get our guides back here. Let's bring another guide over to the right here. Make sure it's resting on the edge of this one here, like so. Bring this one out to about here. And then we're going to go ahead and click to about here and bring this one out. Now, also what we want to make sure we're doing is that because we're working with horizontal and vertical ones, we want to make sure that these ones are bearing the same weight, that they're kind of the same most of the way around. Otherwise, you'll get a weird funky curve. Now, let me show you. So this one is pretty decent at the minute. We've done pretty well, but we want to make sure that each comparative angle or each comparative point is sort of similar to the last one. So this one isn't like this and this one isn't like that. That would not be a good curve because you're going to get some weird angles going on down here in this sort of area here because this is our weird angle. Another thing to make sure that you're doing when you're using the pen tool is that these handles are evenly dispersed. So like we're not pulling one out really far and we're not leaving one in super far unless that's what the artwork is going for. You want to make sure that it's evenly dispersed to get a good look at your lettering. And we just repeat this process all the way around and it can be time consuming, sometimes a bit fiddly. You can spend a lot of time on your curves if you want to, but it's just good practice. So there you have it, that is the time lapse over and done with and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a bit more about what it means to vectorize your work. These are horizontal and vertical guides and anchor points and stuff but I, I do hope you guys enjoyed it all. Um, leave a like rating if you want to see more and I'll catch you guys in the next video where I talk more about the iPad and what it's all about. See you soon.